guys. So today we're going to be doing a Q&A. We asked you on Instagram to ask us your questions and we had hundreds and hundreds of questions. So we're going to try to answer as many as we can today. And they're kind of about a bunch of different topics. So we'll cover the spread, I guess. All right. This little one, I don't know how long Gemma will last for, but she's going to sit in on this. She'll be good. She's not going to be very uh, helpful in the Q&A, but... But she looks cute. cute. Little lap candy. Lap candy. <laughs> <laughs> So real quick announcement before we start the Q&A, we are so super excited to announce that the Weiss girls are going to have their very own YouTube channel. Give it yes. <laughs> High five. Get ready left her hanging. They're insane. <laughs> they're insane. They're insane. <laughs> Oh, we yeah. are going to link it down in the description box below and once that channel hits a thousand subscribers We're going to upload our very first video. We already filmed it. It's awesome. We're super excited about it So go show them some love go subscribe to their channel and yeah, check it out. It's gonna be super fun They're gonna be doing a lot of sit down videos like this and I don't know just maybe challenges and some fun stuff that they come up with that they want to do on their very own channel and our Weiss Life channel obviously is more vloggy so we're still going to keep the vlogs over on the main channel um, but definitely channel. go on there yeah. and check it out Gabrielle and Gracelyn and Gwyneth and Gretchen and Gemma would love your support all right so the first question that was asked by a couple people was how long did we know each other before we got married do you remember yes so we got married almost exactly a year after we met so we were dated for almost a year before we got married, which is pretty fast, but when you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, another question, Dad, for you and I, when we were younger, did we know we wanted a big family? Do you want to answer that, then I'll answer that? Sure, yeah, I, I think I probably did. My mom has six sisters and two brothers, and my dad has two brothers and a sister. And I guess, oh no, my mom doesn't have six sisters. She has five, five sisters, six, two seven. Brothers. She has a lot, those are big families. And then if you go to grandparents, it was like seven or more for everybody. So, but I had two brothers and a sister. Melissa has two brothers and a sister. So, you know, having four or five kids is cool. It just like, seemed normal. Yeah. Um, although, so growing up when I was younger, I actually didn't think I'd have kids. <laughs> so, surprise. <laughs> To me, um, if you'd asked me 10 years ago, even when Jeff and I got married, if, you know, 10 years down the line, we'd have five kids, I would have probably bet money against that. But, you know, you just kind of take it year by year and kid by kid. Day and, by day by day. You know, here we are today. And Gemma is awesome and all these other little peanuts are awesome. So I guess, I guess, yeah, I didn't really think we would necessarily, but it's just kind of what happened and we're happy with that. You have the hiccups, little miss. Okay, so the next question is, will we do a house tour of our new house? And I know we did one before we moved in, so it was kind of like a pre-renovation house tour. And if you guys watch our vlogs, then you've kind of seen kind of what's been going on. I mean, you kind of can see the house in the background of it. Um, but we will do an official house tour as soon as we have everything settled. And like, we're, un we're not unpacked yet, and nothing's decorated. Like. So in a while, we will do one. Maybe we'll do individual room tours. Let us know in the comments below if you'd rather see like a whole house tour or like room by room, like an individual, you know, like Gabriel's room, you know, Gemma's room, our room, that kind of stuff. Let us know what you think about that. Um, but yes, we will eventually have a house tour on this channel. The renovations are almost complete. Yeah. So this question is for the girls. What's your favorite TV show? Jesse. Jesse? That one's cute. What about you, Gabrielle? So mine is Bunk, and it's like a camp show where they have like all, all the most famous Disney characters on it, and they are at summer camp, and they they all become oh, so it's like a Disney like a characters. special, yeah, like a special, like a summer That's thing. Cool. That's cool. I haven't seen that one yet. I'll have to check that out. So the next question is, how old is Buttercup? So I think Buttercup, seven. seven. Yeah, I seven. think so too. Yeah. How old's Gwyneth? Um, seven. 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 So seven. Buttercup is the same age as Gwyneth. So. I think we got Buttercup. How old was Gwen? She was like nine months? Something like that. Something like that. So Buttercup's probably like seven, seven and a half-ish right now. So she's a sweet dog. Okay, the next question is, what is each person's favorite thing about the new house? Dad, you want to start? So a couple favorite things, but my favorite thing now is that I have my, my office set up really the way I like it. 
So awesome. What about you, Gabrielle? So definitely having a pool. Yeah, that's. Do you, Grayson? <laughs> My big bedroom. That's yeah, true. Yeah. The room that these two share is giant. Yeah, it's like the same size as our bedroom. It's a really, really big room. So yeah. that's awesome. I do like to go. A lot of room for activities. A lot of room for activities. There you go. Um, my favorite thing about the house is everything. I think I we renovated <laughs> we renovated the whole house. And I'm really happy with how everything, everything turned out. And I think the layout's really functional for us. And the pool in the backyard's super fun. They wanted me to say something super specific. Well, I think if your favorite thing is like you have to yeah, narrow it down. Okay, anything. my extra super favorite thing is probably having the really big backyard with a pool. Yeah, yeah that's, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. So we are really enjoying the new house. Um, that kind of it kind of leads. This question kind of leads into the next question, though. Um, this was asked quite a few times by a bunch of different people. Um, they want to know: Do we miss our old house? Do you guys miss the no. old house? No. No. I don't. I don't. It's gone. It's dead to me. I kind of do. <laughs> it's dead to her. She's like, um, this is my house now. <laughs> I kind of do. I mean, we were there for so long that. We have a lot of memories there and we renovated that house and like did a lot of things to it. So like there's certain things that I miss about that house, but I mean, we really like our new house too and we really needed the extra space. And the layout's very similar, really. Like we have, a, I mean, I don't know, it's very similar. It is kind of, it's like it's bigger Quite a bit bigger, yeah, but it's a very similar layout. Yeah, it's like the same, similar layout, but like on a larger scale, I guess. So yeah, but you know, so I kind of miss it, but I also really enjoy our new house. So I guess that's the, yeah, me and so you guys are catching each other. Did you, did you yawn? If you yawn, let me know in the comments below. I got it from Graceland. Oh, did you yawn? Yes, <laughs> yawn from dad. You let guys you yawn. <laughs> are crazy. I put it all in my notes so that I didn't Let's pause for a station yeah. identification. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. Oh, you said all that one. <laughs> so. <laughs> Ready to go, ready to go. So this is a Lines. question. Oh. So this is a question that was asked on Instagram and it's also been asked on YouTube a couple times and it's for me, I guess. Uh, people are asking what type of makeup or specifically eyeliner that I wear. I know dad's seen some of those comments because he always teases me about the YouTube comments about my eyeliner. So um, in case you guys are wondering, I wear the Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner, but with the brush tip, not the felt tip. The felt tip one's not as good. And on the bottom, I usually wear the Sephora Black, just their brand, like the twist up one, and I like smudge it out. So I wear two different kinds usually every day. Um, well, almost every day I put on makeup, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, so just in case you were wondering, those are the two eyeliners that I wear, and I usually wear them in black. And people are also never asking about how I wear my beard <laughs> and what kind of beard balm and beard brush I use. So maybe I'll do a tutorial on how to get this ridiculously good looking. <laughs> it, it, it is really good looking right now. Oh, thank you. I, okay, actually that's, that's a good lead in for a question about that. I don't care for his beard. Um, let me know in the comments hey, below hey, hey, what hey, you hey, guys hey, think hey, if hey. Jeff should keep the beard or if he should not have a beard or if he should just have a stubble beard. I kind of like the in-between. I like when it's just kind of stubbly, like not like full on beard. Cause all I see when I look at him is a mustache and I can't get over that. So let me know what you guys think. Maybe we'll take a tally of what people's votes are down below. Or in the comments, maybe you say that it matters what I think. You know, yes. I mean, there's that. <laughs> yeah, <I'm just> <laughs> yeah, let us know guys. It's been a debate in our house for a couple weeks now on whether the beard should go or not. I say it stays. I say stays. Stays. Three, even with Look, the Gemma vote. Gemma, yeah, yeah, I do. Gemma gets two votes. If the man is over 30, he should have a beard. Well, Jeff's 29, so. Oh. Just kidding, he's not 29. Okay, on to the next <laughs> question. 30, he should have a beard. I don't know. That's how I, I don't even ID people. I'm like, beard. Beard over 30. Over 30. Here you go. <laughs> beard it just over seems right. 30. <laughs> Okay, so the next question is, do the girls mind sharing bedrooms? No. No. I, I don't mind Better than my last roommate, Gwen. Your last roommate. So we actually have switched it up. Better than my last roommate, Gwen. Jeez, God. We've switched them around over the years. I think in the other house, Gabrielle and Gretchen shared, and they love that. And why didn't you like sharing room with Gwen? Yes, you did. You guys played all the time. She's just teasing. You like sharing room with Gabrielle better? She forced me. She woke me up. 
Oh, that's true. Gwyneth wakes up at weird times and she always wants to wake up whoever's in the room with her. So I could see that, but I would say that no, the kids don't mind sharing rooms, especially now in this new house, the rooms are so big that it's actually cool. You can kind of have like a little roommate in there, but they, they have space. They've got tons of space. They actually, um, they actually slept in the same bed last night. They did, and the night before that. Yeah, they're right like, hey, sleep over. They do, they do, yeah. they have so sleep that's good. Yeah. That makes me super happy. That's one of the reasons that they do share. It's super important to me that they get along with each other and spend that time together. If everybody's had their own room, I don't know, I grew up, I, I shared a room with my brother and that was super important to me and I, I wouldn't change that for the world. So. And I shared a room with my yeah. sister and although there were times that we didn't get along very well. I mean, as, as an adult, like I appreciate that, I appreciate that experience. And I shared a room with her until I moved out. So we never had our own rooms ever when I was growing up as a kid. So I lost count on Instagram how many people asked the question of if we were gonna have any more kids or not. Holy cow, no. slow down. <laughs> what is the hurry? Right. Oh, no. So oh, no. I, I seriously, oh, no. like I started counting and then like got to the point where I was like, oh my gosh, how many people are asking this question? So um, I don't know right now, I just had a baby, so it's probably not a good time to be able to answer that question. Maybe in a year or two from now, we will have a better answer. Get our hands full. Uh, but we have our hands full for right now in a good way. And little Gemma is doing great. She's eight weeks old. And actually that will lead into another question that I saw a bunch of people asking. Does she sleep through the night? The answer is yes. She is an awesome sleeper. She sleeps from about 11.30 to usually 6.30 or 7. So she's awesome. She's a good baby. Oh. Somebody fart? No. Dad! Oh, no, no, no. I take credit for mine, but that was a. Uh... Don't, don't, try, don't try to blame it on the kids. Okay, check my <laughs> pants and then check her pants and see. <laughs> see who did it. So, another question that we got asked quite a few times um, was if we are going to be getting another dog. As you guys know, a couple weeks ago we uploaded a video talking about how. Our dog Wesley passed away while we were on vacation um, and I guess a lot of you guys just kind of want to know what our thoughts are on that so I don't know dad you want to bless you bless you wow. no I mean right now we don't have any plans I mean buttercup gets quadruple the attention um, <laughs> she's in the backyard right now running around um, but right now we don't have any plans to have another pet I feel like maybe she was like a little bit depressed she was kind of looking for him for a while. Has she been doing that at all lately, girls? Yeah. A little bit. Recently. So they've just been giving her extra love and attention and just trying to make sure that she's doing okay. So we're kind of focusing on that right now. Oh, ooh, well, her. That was her. That one was definitely Told her. Told you. That was definitely but her. We don't have a proof on the last night. It wasn't me. A bunch of people want to know, what are the girls' full names? And we have answered that in I think a Q&A that we did in the past, but we'll definitely tell you guys again for our new viewers because we have quite a few new subscribers. So dad, you want to talk about all the girls' names? Yeah, Gabrielle Nicole, Grayson Rose, Gwyneth Evangeline, Gretchen Isabel, and Gemma Adeline. I did it! He did that, was, it. that was the first take too. Now I put them on, on their birthdays. Oh, I'm their birthdays? Kidding. I'm just kidding, you don't have to. I do know that, but yeah. <laughs> Good, Good job, dad. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Oh wow, he knows his kids' names. <laughs> okay, another fun one. What is our favorite Starbucks drink? You want to start with you, Dad, and we'll go down the line here. Uh, yeah, I've, I recently have been drinking the very berry hibiscus Trenta with ice in it. That's good. So I recently been drinking the Cool Lime Refresher. That's true. She has had that a couple times. What about you? What do you like? I like strawberry frappuccino. Strawberries and cream. Yeah. And I normally get cold brew, but I'm sad because they took away the coconut syrup that they had for a while, so I'm kind of sad about that right now. So recently they launched like a, it's like a tea infusion line. Right, she gets the pineapple black tea one. Pineapple black tea, but I don't get it with any sweetener in it, so I just get it like plain. Yeah, she doesn't order anything simple. She's, she'll say what she wants to me real fast, and then I'll have to ask her again. And she'd be like, I already told you. And then I'll say, just tell the guy in the window. Pretty much anything that I get from Starbucks, I, I alter because I don't like it as sweet as they would normally make it. So like with the tea, I don't get any sweetener. With the cold brew, I'd get like, what, a quarter of what's supposed to go in it. So I am a little particular about my Starbucks, but you guys probably already know that if you watch the vlogs. <laughs> we also go to Starbucks quite a bit. Um, fun fact, 
I used to work for Starbucks. So back in the day. That was ago. fun. Fun fact. Super and fun. Fact. Give us a fun fact. Fun fact about you, honey. Fun fact. Yeah. Go. Fun fact. I am wearing my retainer at night because I'm starting to get a gap in my teeth again. Fun fact. Fun fact. It's not that fun. <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> Uh, a couple people <laughs> asked, do we plan on doing meet and greets in the future? Uh, the answer to that one is, yeah, absolutely. We are go we go to most of the YouTube conferences and events, uh, not only to meet up with our friends and other creators, but also to meet you guys. So uh, next week we're going to CBX Live, which is a conference in Utah for family vloggers. And we're really looking forward to meeting a bunch of our viewers and also visiting with some friends while we're there. We go to VidCon, Vlogger Fair. What else do we go to? Playlist. Playlist. Yeah, playlist when we can. Yeah, when we, can. Um, yeah. we live in California, so um, maybe this year or next year sometime we could try to do a meetup somewhere in Sacramento or San Francisco because we're kind of in Northern California. A few people asked on Instagram if we would do a meetup in San Francisco. I think that would be pretty fun. So yeah, we're totally open to that. Um, right now we're a little hectic because of the move and with the baby and everything, but um, outside of conferences and stuff, yeah, for sure. I think we'll definitely put something on the calendar in the next year. Okay, so I have a question for Dad. Oh, wait, I was yawning. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so I have a question for you, Dad. All right, I'm ready. Um, somebody wanted to know, how did you become a Clemson fan when living in California? So I don't know, it must be a new viewer. No, so you want to I went to Clemson. I graduated from Clemson in 2001. Got my degree in marketing and management. And that's why, because I went to every game for four years. <laughs> so we've had a couple times where people mm -hmm. ask us questions about the girls and different hairstyles and stuff, because a lot of them have long hair. Um, one of the questions we get asked a lot is why the girls wear their hair in ponytails a lot. And if you have long hair, you already know the answer to that question, because it's hot and it gets tangled if you wear it down all the time. So we're really big braid and ponytail and bun People, Gabrielle's hair always looks super cute when she has it in a bun or a braid. I bun them up before bed usually. Yeah, so oh, they don't get That's a fun it. fact. More fun than my fun fact. retainer. Fun fact. Fun fact. Night routine. We should do a night routine. Yes, we should. Updated one. Yep. Um, so we usually, especially since right now it's summer, it just is less hot and less likely to get naughty, like if they brush it and wear it up. Um, so we do that, but you know, if we like are getting ready and going out somewhere, we're going to dinner, we're going somewhere fancy, I mean, they will style their hair. It just, with five girls too, like, we can't spend three hours like curling everybody's hair every day, so ponytails are an awesome option. So with school starting too, they have to get up so early in the morning, guys, that they don't have time to do a lot pretty much other than like brushing their hair, throwing a ponytail, brush their teeth, and what, maybe scarf a bowl of cereal on the way out the door. They're, they, <laughs> they leave pretty early, so that's why. I think we're ready for the lightning round. Melissa's gonna ask us questions and we're gonna hit her with lightning. I am, okay, so yeah. I have them all written down here. So, Dad, yes. favorite family movie? Oh, family movie? That throws a wrench in it, but right now it's Moana with Tamatoa. Favorite family movie? Uh, Sound of Music, we just watched it. Okay, favorite family movie? Mm -hmm. Every movie. Every, every movie. Every movie. My favorite family movie is Book of Life. Oh, I yeah, love that movie. Good. That's a fantastic movie. As long movie. as I'm with my family, it's a family movie. That's true. That's true. All right, next question. Speed round. Favorite so, family outing. Where do you like to go? Tahoe was a lot of fun. We went. If you can, I don't know, they didn't get watched very much, but they, they, the girls did like ropes courses and sledding down a mountain. That was super fun going to Tahoe. That was pretty fun. So what about like day, like during the day, like family outing, like where do you like to go during the like, day with the kids? Oh. <clears throat> I've been practicing this. I love to go to the mall and <laughs> shop, especially for children's clothes and hair things for my daughters. <laughs> so I would, did you do it right? You did it right. That's pretty good. You yeah. did it right. That's pretty good. I like shopping a lot. <laughs> okay, Gabrielle. The park. The park. Graceland. Everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, She's like that, easy, man. I also like that park with the zip line. That, was that is a pretty cool park. So. Yeah. I like going to the mall, and I like going to the outdoor mall, just walking around, and I like, what else do I like? Bowling, bowling's always fun. Um, anything else? Oh, the movies. The movies is good too, so a couple, couple of fun ideas. Favorite place to shop? Graceland. Mall. Justice. I already know your answer. No, you don't. If you say not Target, you're a liar. 
<laughs> best pro shop. <laughs> <laughs> you want you, you want to sound cooler than you are? No, Target because like that's like, like oh we have stuff to get. We need toilet paper and all this other Let's stuff. Let's be like, real though. That's he, just where I go. He like shops at Target like it's his job. So like pretty much every day. Yeah, I have a Target, Target shop, shopping. Shop shop. Target. Yeah, I, I really like Target too. Target's probably my number Target, one Target, as well. Um, or Nordstrom. I like Nordstrom too. Target. My favorite place to shop is Amazon online. That's the truth. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, true. that's the real answer. Yeah, Amazon, Amazon for the win. Amazon's pretty cool. So somebody asked us on Instagram a question I thought was really interesting. They said, aside from being American, what are we? Like, where do we originate from? So, Dad, you want to answer that? Where did I originate from? <laughs> My origins go back three generations to great grandpa Adolf Weiss, who came over from Germany. That's actually true. Yeah. That actually is my history. That is true. I, my great grandpa's name was Adolf. It was not an uncommon name in Germany. <laughs> Apparently. But that's the truth. So, we're, he, so his background, your background is pretty much your German and Irish English. And, uh, a little bit. German, of... Irish, and English. And then my background is Italian, Sicilian, Italian, I'm half Italian, and a quarter German and like a quarter Irish, I think, I want to say. So um, there might be some little, you know, percentages mixed in there, but that's pretty much what it is. So the kids are mostly German and a little bit of Italian, a little, a bit, little of bit of Irish. A little bit of a lot of stuff, a little bit of European. Yeah, so that, that's the answer to that question. I just thought it was kind of a cool question. Nobody's ever asked that before, so there you go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our Q&A. If you have a question you'd like us to answer next time, leave it down in the comments okay. below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. We do awesome Hi. family vlogs and challenges and travel videos and all sorts of fun stuff. So we would love to have you as a subscriber. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.